So it's a tough one coming up here, and uh, Djokovic wanting to complete that uh, the four singles and join. He'd be the eighth guy to do that. Stan Wawrinka is the man who is the spoiler in this one as he comes into this match and makes his entrance to the centre court. So Stan takes the court for his first French final. Of course, he won the Australian Open last season, so the big occasion shouldn't be a problem for him. And here's the world number one looking for that elusive French title, the only one of the majors he's yet to win. So with a great match potentially to come, let's hear how the two finalists see it. I know what it takes to prepare myself for probably the most important match of the year. To make kind of the final in Grand Slam, especially here in French Open, it's really an amazing feeling. It means the world to me, obviously I've been preparing, uh, also subconsciously thinking about it the entire year. Uh, I put myself in a position to, to fight for the, the trophy that I never won and uh, that I, trophy that I won so much. Playing probably the tennis of my life, you know, uh, looking at the uh, 2011 and, and this year are pretty similar, but uh, you know, this year I feel more comfortable, uh, more complete as a player on the court. Um, I'm handling myself better. It's been playing amazing for sure. It's better than all the other players so far, but uh, playing many times. Uh, sometimes I, I won, uh, sometimes we had some big battle in five sets. He presents a great challenge. He won against Roger and most of the guys very comfortably throughout the tournament. He's showing some mental strength in important moments that defines a great players and uh, he's uh, deservedly in the finals and I'm sure he's gonna want to win this trophy as much as I do. For sure, if I want to have a chance to, to beat him, I will have to play my, my best tennis. Uh, that's, that's for sure. I will have to come with, with a big game. Hopefully I can keep my cool and uh, just focus on what I need to do. You know, I'm playing against a stand that is performing on a very high level throughout the entire tournament. It's going to be tough for both of us, but uh, that's for finals of Grand Slam and anything is possible. To make a final in Grand Slam is something uh, uh, really big for me. Uh, so I'm really, really happy. But uh, again, I already played one final. I know, I know the feeling. It's going to be special. It's going to be different for sure in, in, in Paris, but uh, I'm ready for it. So after that build-up, uh, both players having a great deal of respect for one another, as they should have. They've played one another on numerous occasions, and uh, this will be a terrific effort with both of them looking for their first title here. I'm joined now with Mark Woodford, and Woody, uh, how do you see this one? Good afternoon to you, Fred. Uh, I see this as being uh, one of the more interesting Grand Slam finals in recent occasions. A huge moment for the number one seed. World number one this year has been in supreme form and uh, he is fortunate to have snuck through Andy Murray, completion of that match yesterday. And uh, he certainly feels that if he is able to, to uh, get a win today, that uh, the Grand Slam, a calendar Grand Slam is on the cards. But he is facing Stan Favrinka, who is in some of the, the, the hottest form since winning that title back in 2014. He has been striking the ball so venomously hot and uh, it's stinging the opponents. I don't uh, discount Stan Favrinka's opportunity today. Stanimator, Stanimal, uh, some of the nicknames that are, are given to Stan Vavrinka. Um, he is such a strong player. There's just some of the, the bio for Stan, but he has been striking it uh, right out in the middle of the racket. He said that uh, in the build-up towards this year's tournament that he wasn't playing that well, but when he arrived here, something clicked. The ball was uh, being centred, the rhythm, and the confidence just absolutely elevated. To go through the last two matches, Fred, he's dropped one serve against Roger Federer and Jo Wilfred Sommer. Mm -hmm. 
So here we go, brink of the surf. If you have got the right in the assessment with Berinka, he has nothing whatsoever to lose here. Djokovic goes in as the heavy favourite at the start of the tournament. He's crept his way through, took out Nadal, who's won it nine times. We've had the tournament. Oh, blessed with great it? weather here this year. Just that storm the other night. But I think that'll help Varinka just the pace of shot that he can get off the serve and off that last forehand. Superb. Look at that, 39 shots in the oh. rally, 39 strokes. And stand the... very quickly up to play the next point. And the first game of the match. Set points now. Pace on it, paid the penalty. Still a set point, though. Well, an 
opportunity gone awry here. Well, it may come back to haunt him as this match progresses. Because the thoughts will remain there, believe me. First break point that Varenka sees in the match. Break point now. Champions are able to do that, and he has done it. Whether he can win this game, a couple of service points will tell us. But saves a break point, but he's lost two set point opportunities where he should have won either one of them. Djokovic hits for the corner and was coming in. He saved the break point by serving wide and was looking to come in behind it as well. A surprise tactic, just in case the ball came over. After winning that first set, Rinka was down a break point, got out of trouble. So a carbon copy of the opening game here, break point, Djokovic. Serve on him now. A save. 16 of 17 break points against Sonner. Playing that drop volley to perfection. Djokovic took control of it early. Had Rinka meters behind the baseline. Djokovic there on the baseline. Gets right over this one. Look at the little stutter steps to get over the top of that ball. Well 
two drop shots in a row. It was well played from Djokovic. So four games all now, and out of frustration, Orika waxed the net with the racket a couple of times. But this is not mad with Djokovic. He's just frustrated that those two points he hasn't been able to convert or do anything with it. One before went wide. That one into the net. Four all. See if he got set and all the girls just came by. Supersonic backhand from Vavrinka, 156 Ks. Djokovic. Fine drop volley. At least that play forces the opponent to go for the winner or try and do something rather than stay in the rally and keep Djokovic going backwards. So still a break point down though. of serve that was a good shot that two-handed back and that tough to play sitting then on the forehand
first time he's seen break point since the first game of the second set. The next hour, a, a tactic there to try and change things up from Djokovic. Oh, around the net post. We talked about that there, one of the best shots in tennis. This, this is the best one we've seen it here. Around the net post, down the line. Three set points. Great save from Djokovic 
The line was open. Djokovic never moved. Out, count. Has Vavrik gone up the line once today? And he's yeah, chosen it a couple of times. Yeah, they pushed one long early. Mm, that was almost in the first game, I think, yeah. Finalist a couple of times. And it's a late call in the back.
go for the second serve. challenge, c'est un énorme champion, euh, toujours très fair play. Aujourd'hui j'ai fait, c'est clair, le match de ma vie, euh, j'ai du mal à y croire, euh, j'en tremble encore et je suis vraiment super heureux. Play the match of his life against a great champion in Novak Djokovic. Runner-up of the 2015 French Open, Novak Djokovic.
This is his third final, and you can be sure he'll be back again for the fourth. And you can see a very emotional moment for him. It's going to be a tougher speech. see the emotion on the big screens that are available around here. That's why this continues in this vein, because they know how much this title meant to this young man. Ladies and gentlemen, today he has won his first French Open title, Stan Wawrinka. Je ne parle pas très court parce que euh, euh, je ne parle pas bien français encore, mais je veux dire, euh, je veux dire euh, félicitations à Stan et à son équipe, à son famille. Euh, Ce n'est pas facile euh, pour moi de, de, de parler maintenant, euh, mais je, je dois dire qu'il y a dans la vie euh, quelque chose qui est plus important des victoires euh, et ça c'est le caractère et de respect et j'ai un grand respect pour toi Stan, tu, uh, tu es un grand champion avec uh, grand coeur et tu mérites ce titre. C'est très difficile de parler à ce moment parce que ça a été tellement de victoire pour lui qu'il respecte Stan qui est un grand champion. Et 